I'd like to have my final rant of the week uh, harken back to where we started the week, which is a contrast between the arguments that are going on in Washington over the debt ceiling and what's happening uh, with the plight of the unemployed and the underemployed in all the cities and towns of our country. You know, Louise Story of the New York Times asked a very good question today. She said, if you were an investor and a company were, company were as badly managed as the United States government is, it, top executives completely unable to agree with one another or even speak politely in some cases, unable to find compromise, if it took a CEO this long to come up with a plan to deal with budget problems, would you invest in that company? Probably not. I mean, the fact is the U.S. is probably a bad investment right now. That's why China is worried. That's why Israel and Egypt are worried. That's why the International Monetary Fund is worried. Uh, and yet, the fact is the American people keep investing. And by that I mean we keep re-electing the same people over and over again. I could be wrong on the exact details, but I think the re-election rate at this point for incumbents is 90% or close to 90% in the Senate and 95% in the House. And I can already hear people saying that this is what the 2010 midterm elections were all about, throwing out the bums and getting some fresh faces into Congress. But by and large, many of the fresh faces that came in were people who had campaigned on the promise to never compromise, to never negotiate. And that doesn't help. I, I'm sorry, this is not partisan. It's just the fact that the problems that they deal with in Washington are complicated, they're tough, they're not simple, and they require compromise and discussion, and learning, and changing your mind. Promising not to talk to somebody's opponent is not a strength. That should be a strike against a candidate and, and a promise to never vote for that person. Really, take a look at the gamebudgethero.org, which we talked about on the show today. What you really learn after you do that budget uh, game is that the U.S. government budget is extremely complex, it's very difficult, and solving the deficit problem means shared sacrifice across the board. You don't solve problems like that by refusing to talk to people or standing on principle. You make them worse. So here's my message to our politicians, all of them. Stop making campaign speeches. This is not an election year. Sit down and do your job. And my message to the American public, if they can't do their job, take it away from them. Lay them off and let them finally discover firsthand about how difficult it is to be unemployed in the United States today.